Hello and welcome to another one in the series of the chat with. Today should be the second day of Area Friedrichshafen, but clearly that's been cancelled, which is a right real pain in the backside for most of us. Um, I think it is fair to say that most of the aviation industry absolutely love that show. It's just a fantastic event. I had a chance to chat with Roland Bosch uh, this morning, but unfortunately, other work commitments meant that I couldn't actually make that. So I asked Thomas Borschert, the uh, chief editor of Flieger magazine in Germany, if he wouldn't mind stepping in for us. So his video with uh, Roland talking to the team at Aero Friedrichshafen. Um, thanks very much, Thomas. I owe you one. Hello, everybody. This is Thomas Borchert from Flieger magazine in Germany, recording this for Flyer magazine. Uh, we are talking to uh, Roland Bosch and Tobias Britzel of uh, Aero Friedrichshafen, where normally today, on the second day of the show, everything would be really busy. Uh, Roland is on site, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, hello, Tobias and uh, Roland. How are you guys? Hi there. Paul. Hi there. So far, so yeah. good. Fine. Thanks. Okay, Roland, since you're on site, why don't you give us an impression of what it's like out there? Yeah, I'm standing actually uh, at the static display of Messe for Dixar, and uh, I make a 360. Uh, round. You can see. Is it okay? Yes. So you will very see. Good. You, you will yes. see. I'm very alone. Perfect. I'm very alone. I'm uh, still waiting for exhibitors and uh, guests uh, to Aero 2020, but nobody comes in. So the taxiway and the airport is closed, and I'm very, very. I feel very uncomfortable and uh, very alone. The weather, though, is perfect. It couldn't be better, right? I mean, I guess you were a little bit worried with the arrow uh, date being so early in the year this time. Yeah, we have uh, perfect uh, fly conditions. And you can see the sun. We have spring. It's warm. Uh, it's uh, really terrible to have no show. So uh, a lot of people uh, were afraid about the uh, conditions in the be beginning of April. Uh, but now uh, it's. I think it's more terrible for me uh, because of the uh, good weather. Uh, maybe uh, it, it would be better. It uh, will rain if it, or uh, if it would rain whatever. cats and dogs. Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah. you're right. Tobias, what was the uh, reaction from the exhibitors uh, uh, when you cancelled, which you did quite a while ago? Um, yes. So I would say 100%. Um, understanding from them so it was if you can say it under these circumstances stances positive yeah so all the feedback we received from them was really positive um, and I think it was also good um, the, the date actually when we uh, decided to cancel it was 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 good because then um, a couple of days later we would have, had to react on the overall circumstances uh, given by by you know the the upcoming rules um, from from the government from the local authorities. So it was good that we did that decision on on that date. But although it wasn't easy for us, of course, um, uh, we 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 were pretty positive until that date that we could um, do the show. We had a very strong support, and it was a uh, it was about to be a good show with um, more than or around seven hundred exhibitors. Um, but then, before we cancelled the show, before that, a um, couple of days before we, you know, we we were we heard more and more. Um, reactions from the exhibitors that they might be limited due to travel restrictions and some of course also said we, 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 we might not be able to do it and that's why we kind of uh, said okay we have to cancel it at that, at that day, certain date. Roland, uh, I think you have you have now set a new date, or at least you are pretty sure you will have a new date for Arrow 2021, no Arrow in 2020. Um, yes, can you tell right. us about That's the new right. date? Uh, yes, we have uh, postponed the arrow uh, to, to the date of the arrow 21. Uh, it's uh, beginning in April here, so we have about one year 
to uh, hopefully uh, the, the uh, coronavirus and all this bad uh, circumstance uh, will uh, gone. But people, exhibitors, uh, visitors okay. um, have to wait. But there was no chance uh, yes. for. Uh, so uh, you were breaking. The show. You were breaking up exactly at the moment when you said the date. Um, is the date fixed already? I believe it is the April 14th when it's supposed to begin. Yes, it's, uh, we are restarting on the 13th of uh, April next year. So it's one year, it's fixed. Okay, excellent. Um, to be as you mentioned earlier when we spoke uh, that you have a show coming up later this year that might actually be the, the first aviation show of the year if everything yes. turned out as bad as it seems to be. Yes. So um, Aero will be uh, taking place next year as Roland just outlined, but we have another very important um, show and a very important date coming up which uh, you all should uh, kind of highlight in your calendar. Um, the show is called European Rotors. Um, it will be the, the main dedicated rotorcraft event for um, Europe. Um, in that case, um, the setup is a little bit different. Um, we are kind of the service provider who organizes the show on behalf of the European Helicopter Association. Um, EHA um, and um, they work together again um, in cooperation with EASA so it's a pretty unique setup um, having a show where EASA is really close uh, really closely working together with us uh, to develop that show and the show uh, will be in November so still a lot of time um, where we really hope that um, you know all the challenges will uh, will be overcome by then um, and it will be uh, held in Cologne in Germany from the 10th till the 12th of November. All right. There's plenty of time to get yes. rid of the current troubles. Let's yes. hope that's enough. Thank Absolutely. you very much to both of you for taking the time. Um, uh, thanks for this uh, direct report from the show site. And let's hope we'll all meet next year under better circumstances. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Thomas. Thank you very much. And see you next year in a good health and stay uh, positive. Thank you. Stay yes. positive. Everybody, thank you very much for listening. This is Thomas Boyhardt for Flyer Magazine. Um, stay healthy and goodbye. Thanks, Thomas. That was great. Um, I've got one quick, actually two quick favors to ask you. If you enjoyed that video, could you do me a favor and please hit subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we do another video. And if, if, if you're at all interested in aviation and you don't yet subscribe to the magazine, please head on over to www.flyer.co.uk forward slash shop and subscribe to the magazine. £7.50 a quarter gets you 13 issues delivered direct to your door. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.